This was the place where Shivalingam Janarath was attacked by the wild elephant. He was 18 years old at the time of death and he is the youngest among three siblings. His remains were placed at the hospital when our team reached the village. His family was mourning his death. Our teams also saw how wild elephants were roaming within close proximity to the village. The people living in this area cannot even cultivate because they do not have adequate water. A similar situation was faced by the villagers of Andamale and Valatapitiya. They are also facing issues as a result of the human-elephant conflict. The villagers in this area charge that their crops have been infested with pests. As a result, their cultivations have been destroyed. They are also facing issues as a result of monkeys and peacocks damaging and destroying their crops. The residents of Gonagala said that they do not have infrastructure for their children to receive dumber education and that the child clinic in the village does not operate properly. The Veva in the Vanyamunukole village is filled with silt and the people do not have enough water to carry out their cultivations. The electric fence that has been set up around the village has confined both the villagers and the wild elephants in the same region. The primary school in the village is also at the brink of being shut down. The residents say that the entry route to their village gets flooded even after a small rain. They request that the road leading up to the Markeliava village be broadened. The villagers of Ganga Palace say they are facing severe economic issues as a result of the lack of water to cultivate. They also said that they live in fear as a result of the increasing wild elephant attacks on the village. Although there are 11 buildings at the Mahagalvava Primary School, there are students in only five classrooms at three buildings. All the other classrooms are in a dilapidated state. The students who study at this school and pass their GCE ordinary level examination face severe issues when looking for another school. Come at the door-to-door -door initiative.